to ask the Scottish Government what recent representations has it made to the European Commission uh, regarding the COD recovery plan? Cabinet Secretary Richard Lockhead. The Scottish Government met with the European Commission as recently as the 15th of April to press her case for changes to the COD recovery plan and in particular for Scottish vessels that catch very little COD to be made exempt from limits on their days at sea. My officials will continue, of course, to discuss this issue with the Commission at every opportunity, and I myself hope to discuss this with the Commissioner when I attend the next Council of Ministers meeting in May. Stuart Stevenson. Uh, is the Minister aware that, once again, we are likely to see unnecessary and early closure of a number of uh, viable fisheries, and this will threaten livelihoods and communities across Scotland? Uh, can the Minister uh, tell uh, the Chamber uh, what action uh, might stem from the European Commission in particular in delivering greater control that we might exercise over our fishery stocks? Cabinet Secretary. Can I just clarify that the Scottish Government's intention is to ensure that our fisheries do remain open uh, for as long as possible throughout the next year, and we did indeed achieve that in 2012. However, the COD recovery plan is dysfunctional. It is made in Brussels. It is inappropriate for Scottish circumstances, Scottish waters, and that is why more of these decisions have to be taken closer to home. In the meantime, we are arguing for the COD recovery plan to be much more appropriate for our own uh, circumstances and to be flexible. At the moment, it actually encourages vessels to target COD, not to avoid COD, which, of course, is counterproductive to the aims of the plan. Thank you, Presiding Officer. The, the Cabinet Secretary will be aware that the IC's 2012 fishing science shows that the spawning stock biomass of cod in the North Sea is two and a half times larger now than it was in 2006. In light of that, would you be prepared to say the cod recovery plan has come to the end of its useful life? It should be abolished. And when will regional management actually take over in the North Sea? Cabinet Secretary. Well, clearly, I have just said I think the COD recovery plan is not fit for purpose. I think the huge sacrifices made by the Scottish fleet over the last decade or so are paying dividends, as illustrated by the statistics read out by Tavish Scott. Therefore, we have to have conservation policies in place, yes, but the COD recovery plan is not fit for purpose. And the sooner we have regionalisation, which will hopefully happen as soon as possible, the sooner we will be able to have appropriate policies in place in Scottish waters.